Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back to Ninja Muhammad in another tutorial Huawei device in my hands uh, Mate 30 Pro guys today we'll be showing you how we're gonna install GSpace basically Play Store and Google Apps on Huawei uh, devices since we know that uh, of course Play Store Google services are blocked natively on Huawei devices very simple tutorial guys uh, in two methods uh, the first method is doing it by the phone and the browser itself simply you're gonna go and type this is the browser default browser guys you don't you're not using a PC or something like that so you're gonna go to the default browser over here type G space Huawei yes enter the first link here which you see consumerhuawei.com you're gonna go here inside okay wait a little bit wait a little bit and here we go guys and you're gonna see this link download G space guys download G space this is the method if the method from the app gallery doesn't work guys so G space you can see by stuff over here I can't find G space from the gallery itself here the app gallery of Huawei which is very weird so we're gonna go here to the of course browser download G space okay so it's gonna download it guy. Oh, and now it's give us uh, to download it from the uh, app gallery. Uh, you're gonna have the download link uh, in the files. Here it is. To, uh, I download, I'm gonna leave the, of course, download link for the latest version, 208, which is not yet even available on the app store, which is weird. 207 is available. And another method, guys, is I'll leave the download link of the 204 mode with a shortcut option, guys, with the shortcut maker. So far, I, I'm not sure I can use the shortcut maker with the 207 and 208 but we will try it. Nevertheless, whichever mode you use version, uh, stick with it. So let's begin here with 204. We're gonna start with the 204 mode. Remember, this enable all the uh, permissions to, uh, of course, download uh, and install APK files. So we're gonna install the APK file over here, guys. Let's go. Bismillah. Now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna open this one, GSpace. Start. Give all the permissions, guys. To use GSpace, you need to download the necessary kit. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. It takes a minute or something like this to set up all of this, which is not bad. Check this out, guys. So you have all the application, the Google applications over here. I'll be showing you how we're going to get the uh, Play Store. So just stick with me. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, here we go. We can see by ourselves that we have the latest version. Uh, let me just check it out over here. Perfect. Uh, anyway, let's go now with the second option, with the second, basically with the second step. So guys, second step is very important. You have to give all the permissions for the G space, guys. So what you're gonna go, uh, go here from the multitasking, hold here the G space, and you're gonna go to app informations. There's also other methods how to access the app information. Nevertheless, we're gonna go to permissions. So give all of these permissions. You can see by side, we have only storage and phone. So for many different applications, you uh, you will have to have obviously uh, the GPS enabled, camera enabled here through that one, microphone, all of this. Let me enable everything and then we're going to continue with the step three. There you go guys, like I see myself, everything done. I give all the permissions for uh, everything. You can go to additional uh, alternative, uh, of course, permissions. Uh, you can see myself, plenty of them. This is insane what kind of Huawei customization it has. So guys, now we're going to go to, of course, power usage details. Uh, remember to do this. Uh, you're gonna disable manage automatically and you're gonna have here auto launch every single time when basically you restart your phone or something like this this is gonna immediately relaunch itself okay not using the manager automatically sometimes it will not sometimes it will launch just have it auto launch all the time guys run in background all the time this is very important to do this okay very very important now we're gonna go scroll to advanced guys. Enable draw over the other apps. I already done it, like see by stuff. And also write system settings, enable this. This is very important to enable these two options in the advanced category in the tab. Okay, we've done that guys. Now what we're gonna go back to our files. So now we're gonna install this shortcut maker. Okay, let's install shortcut maker. Very simple to do that. Allow, install, boom. Let's go and open it now. Got it. Okay, now what you're gonna do is select history, go to upper three dots, go now to restore option guys, and make sure to browse where is uh, where is this folder which you downloaded from my download links. Make sure to enable, enable the internal storage. If is it hidden, just enable it now. I don't want to hide it. And go now here to shortcut SMF guys. You need to select this file over here, okay? We've done it. Play Store is there in the shortcut. 
Okay, now from the history, we have this created, uh, of course, shortcut. What you're gonna do, guys, is pinch your home screen and go to the widgets and find here the, let me just show you right now, shortcut maker. There you go. Okay, now what you're gonna do is go to the history, select Play Store, guys, and we're gonna create a shortcut of the Play Store, Google Play Store. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go. So guys, well, let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. Sign in. Boom. <laughs> that is so cool, man. That is so cool. Let me just uh, uh, add my information. Here we go. Running a fully fledged Play Store <laughs> on Huawei device. Check this out, guys. That is crazy. So uh, you don't have to do anything, tweet it, anything, hack something. This is a simple tutorial for everybody. Everybody can do this over their phone. You don't need it to have a PC, some skills. It's very simple to do, guys. Check this out. We're going to go to maybe IDA64. We're going to go to IDA64, try to install it. Waiting for the download. Boom, guys. Open it. Works. <laughs> That is so cool, man. Kirin 980. Okay, guys, let's go with one of the applications which a lot of you guys want to have it on your Huawei device, not using a browser or something like this. That is a YouTube, guys. Of course, most of the uh, Google apps, but here you go, guys. The Play Store is fully fetched, fully working, 100%. No lying, no cheat or something like this. It is working, guys. It is working. Check this out here. Huawei Mate 30 Pro. This is not even the latest Huawei device. This is a three-year-old device, and this method works without any problems, bro. That is insane check it out and it's also very fast very smooth this basically this kirin 980 is still a beast man it's one of my favorite kirin uh, processors uh, ever ever check it out guys my play store uh, play store youtube everything is just working fine Okay, guys, so now you're gonna ask me, oh, Mohammed, but I wanted to have it everything on the home screen. I don't want to enter this G space, especially here, and open these applications. I don't just want to have them here uh, so I can customize them and put them in page one, page two. Simple, guys. What you're gonna do is, firstly, you're gonna obviously install all the Google apps which you want to have it over here uh, with the Play Store, whatever app you want to have, which is not available for the Huawei App Store. Uh, we're gonna go to the G space, and you can see by stuff here these icons. You can see by, the, uh, by, uh, by themselves that they're having having the small icon here as a fire they're not yet installed guys they're not yet installed so you can't create a shortcut first you need to download them remember that download them so you can see myself that i already created a, a shortcut for the google maps i don't need to go to the basically g, g space to open the uh, google maps it's immediately here opened from here so we're going to go now and create a shortcut for youtube so we're gonna just hold it like this, create shortcut for YouTube and add to home screen is gonna give you here this permission, basically the settings, add, simply add it, YouTube shortcut is created and voila, boom guys, it's here. The YouTube app is created over here, which is very, very nice. Uh, of course, you probably noticed that you need to tap two times on these applications and maybe that's not, maybe it's a little bit bothering, but I think that it's completely fine. They're not gonna open immediately if you uh, tap one time, you'll need to uh, tap two times of them since they are a shortcut. I don't know if there's a um, possible other method to basically just have one time, but again, this is just right now nitpicking for this amazing, amazing tutorial, guys, and amazing step. I hope you appreciate it in, in this, obviously, this tutorial. Remember, I will be leaving download links for the 208 and 207. You can simply download from the browser, browser of the Huawei, which is over here, guys. You can simply download it from the App Store. I didn't want to work with me. I think I showed you here from the App Gallery. If I type here G space it didn't want to work with me I'm not sure why why I can't find it over here just a little bit stupid but hey ho guys I think you get the point here uh, YouTube is working uh, uh, of course uh, maps is working everything is just simply working all the Google apps are working without any problems whatsoever just have that in mind that the G space has to be selected from the options guys to give it permissions to run constantly in the background. It's not gonna drain your battery. Don't think this is uh, PUBG or Genshin or something like this. Just a simple application, guys. Not gonna drain and kill your battery, bro. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate this tutorial, guys. My name is Mohammed from TechTop YouTube channel. Uh, all the download links will be in the description and also my advice is which smartphones to buy. And of course, you can support my channel by joining my YouTube page as my monthly supporter, uh, which is a $5. I would appreciate if you do that. Still, we have zero supporters. I hope you can be the first one. Let's go. Thank you. Have a nice night. Bye-bye. Have a day. Night. Wherever you are.